Calculus. The word itself could feel intimidating, conjuring images of endless equations and complex symbols. But what if I told you that calculus is quietly working behind the scenes in our everyday lives? And not just in science or engineering, but in simple, relatable ways. Let's dive in. Here's the idea. We can take something continuous, like the flow of coffee, and break it into infinitely small slices of time. Each slice contributes a little bit to the total. Add them all together, and we have the exact volume filled. But notice something. As the coffee fills the mug, the flow slows down. This isn't just an observation, it's built into the graph. The curve starts to dip. That's where integration shines. Even as the flow rate changes, we can still capture the total with perfect precision. Think of each slice as a tiny rectangle. Its width is a moment in time, and its height is the flow rate at that moment. Integration sums all these rectangles, no matter how the flow changes, to give us the total volume poured. And this is the magic of calculus, taking something as fluid as pouring coffee and turning it into something mathematically precise. Now take cycling, for example. As you pedal uphill, the slope of the hill changes, making the ride either easier or harder. Derivatives help us understand these changes. The derivative of this curve shows the steepness of the hill at any point. Tangent lines help us visualize how steep the slope is. By focusing on this triangle, we see that the slope is the elevation change divided by the time taken. As the slope angle increases, pedaling becomes more difficult, requiring greater effort to maintain speed. With the slope of 0.67 and an angle of 33 degrees, the cyclist needs about 83.9 newtons of effort to climb up this hill. Now, say you just threw a frisbee. Its curved path is shaped by gravity, modeled by a quadratic equation. With calculus, we can determine its maximum height, the total distance it will travel, or even its velocity at any point. As we refine our approach by adding more rectangles, we get a more accurate estimate of the area under the curve. This process, a fundamental concept in calculus, demonstrates the power of integration in capturing precise details. By finding the derivative of the equation governing the frisbee's path, we know when it's climbing, falling, or at its highest point. If you've taken an AP Physics or College Level Physics course, you might recognize that we can solve this problem using kinematic equations. The motion in the horizontal direction is linear, while the vertical motion is governed by constant acceleration due to gravity. When we combine these two motions, we get a trajectory that follows a parabolic path. Let's see how this works in practice. When t equals 1, the x position will be 3 and the y position will be 0 0.1. Have you ever watched the shadow of a building change throughout the day? It's not random. It's determined by the sun's position and the building's height, combining horizontal and vertical motion. Let's break this motion down. As the sun moves across the sky, seen by the yellow dot, it creates a shadow that changes position and length over time. To fully understand this motion, we need to consider the angle of movement, represented here as theta. This angle determines how much of the motion is horizontal and how much is vertical. Here's a blurry image. In this state, it's hard to make out any details, but your smartphone uses calculus to sharpen it. Also, just keep in mind that this is an ultra-simplified explanation. Real-world photo processing involves far more complex mathematical techniques, including partial derivatives, gradient descent, and convolutional transformations. By detecting changes in brightness between pixels, calculus helps us define the edges in an image, turning this blurry grid into a clear photo. This graph shows pixel intensity across the image. Smooth changes represent flat areas, while sharp changes represent edges. The derivative of this graph highlights where intensity changes the fastest, these are the edges of the image. Calculus uses derivatives to measure brightness changes. These changes mark the edges defining shapes and details. Essentially, calculus makes photo processing possible. From your morning coffee to evening sports, and even the phone in your pocket, calculus is everywhere. It's not just about solving equations, it's about understanding the world around us. One curve, slope, and integral at a time. So next time you see something simple as coffee being poured, remember, calculus is in action, making sense of it all. Thank you for watching, and please feel free to leave any suggestions for future videos in the comments below. Like and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future.